Kelly here from Cochrane Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochrane, Alberta. And today I've got a pretty unique one. This is a 2022 SR5 4Runner. We don't get many of these things, but again, when you do here at Tacoma Town, we're gonna add a little bit of goodies to it. Let me show you. So one of the unique things with this truck is the SR5 base package. These things don't come around very often. It's been like eight years since I've seen one of these things. And this particular one isn't one that we even ordered. It was one that Toyota Special allocated to us. I think there's a few more going through the country. Um, but again, a couple unique things about it that I, I think are pretty awesome. Brings that price point down a little bit. But here at Tacoma Town, we couldn't help but throw a little bit of extras on it. Now what we've done is with the the base price um, price tag on this guy, we didn't want to over exceed with all the extra goodies. A couple things I think are must haves, again, rims and tires, and that roof rack is just an awesome touch. I think the one excess piece we did is a light bar up front, right there, um, but again, it's a really nice touch. Start with the running, or the light bar is the Rough Country Bar. This is a pretty big one here as well, and if you'll notice, it's tucked in behind the grill, so almost impossible to steal, unless someone's willing to take off that whole front bumper to get it. I don't think it's worth the time and get it, but as opposed to ones that stick outside the front bumper that are a couple of bolts and a clip away, this is a nice one here. A couple things I like about this particular light bar is it does have the wide um, lenses right there on this side, so you get that wide angle, more of a ditch light, and then your straight on lights on this side. So again, very bright, definitely one of those ones where you've seen on the highway, where people should have them off on the highway, it's more of an off-road touch right there. Again, standard fog lights. This does have the radar adaptive cruise control. You can see it right in the front there, that radar piece. Plus it does have the anti-collision camera up front that does a number of things like high beams, those kinds of details. Um, but again, really nice function there for you. One of the things I really like, I think is worth the expense, is the Prinsu rack. This is an amazing rack system. If you go onto the website, there's 101 different things you can do to it, like uh, bike racks or canoe racks or just tent things. Whatever you want to throw on there um, is an incredible rack with a lot of options on it. One of the best parts about it is it's a non-drill rack. You don't have to drill into the frame at all to put it on there. It fits into the stock space, which is a really nice option. So you don't have to worry about um, resealing anything or changing anything from the factory. Really nice option. I also like how well this thing deflects the wind and keeps the road noise down while you're on there. So again, something you can keep a nice roof rack on without having that constant wind noise. We've also done a leveling kit in this guy to put a little bit bigger tires on this guy. You can take a peek at how that looks. And of course, a little bit of tinted windows on that thing to give it a little bit more of that Stormtrooper look. The leveling kit in this thing, I think is an inch and a half up front, but it's allowed us to put these bigger tires on here. The Open Country AT3s have just been a phenomenal, a phenomenal piece for us. So one thing, the downside is they're a little bit louder than the AT2s, but they have a much more aggressive pattern and look to it. So the minimal increase in, uh, noise on the on the road but a much more aggressive so if you're actually using these things for off-road i mean look at those things they're basically a mud train with a dramatic reduction in noise compared to a mud drain so from the at2 it's just slightly louder but at the end of the day i think it, it's worth the look we've also added the trd pro rims in this guy and part of the new trd pro rims they have a much better offset on them so they're more offset than the factory the previous trd rims used to have a factory factory offset so you left it to the tires um to get that look for it. But with that block lift you can see on this guy, it really just does give it that extra little bit of oomph to it or the better look to it. I like that that uh, combo. So the TRD Pro matte black rims. The running boards are stock on this guy. That's what comes with this factory um, piece. But again, I like these running boards because they're not ones that are gonna get rock chipped up and chew out throughout the whole thing. These are gonna last the entire time you own this truck, which is a nice option. So again, taking a peek at that, just simple. Light bar, again, that would be the one piece that I think would be excess if you wanna call it, especially on one of these base packages. Um, the rims and tires lift kit and that roof rack just makes it look like an awesome vehicle. So jumping in the back, a couple of things I still love about the 4Runner is you do have this window that comes all the way down, and this is the option where you notice they drop that. Most of the other options have the little, oops, sorry, I'm not even taking a picture of my finger, is they used to have a little piece right here. Now it's down to the key. The key will turn it rather than the two little buttons. Um, you do have, you open this guy up. We did add the, um, what do you call it now, the bed mat in the back as well, which is a nice option. These are the five riders, so they don't have the extra seats in there. Gives you about an inch more room in the back so you drop that level down without having that piece in, you're still gonna get the things like the um, charging um, plug-in right there for you, plus the 12 volt beside it. So a couple things that are really nice, I like that they have the tie downs into this guy and you can see in the back there as well. So if you're gonna throw anything in the back, there is a bed mat, a bed net that you can stick in there as well, but it gives you lots of functionality in the back. This does have the hitch and wiring built in, and I love where they stuck 
everything in here. So you take a peek at this. The old days, they used to have the um, wiring right there, but now they stick it underneath there. So again, if you're going off-roading, you can see where the hit point is. It's not gonna pull your wiring and all that stuff off if you do off-road with them. With the, with the approach angle and departure angle on these guys, this, these bumpers from stock gives you a lot of room, especially a little leveling kit, bigger tires. It's amazing where you can go with these guys. So again, great looking truck. Let's jump inside and I'll show you a couple of the features that do change in this uh, base package. So jumping inside, a couple of things I like right off the bat that they kept, and even the base price is the, the leather wrap steering wheel. That's a nice touch for me. I'm going to the classic steering wheels. It's, it's kind of a step down that I don't like, but again, they've kept that. A couple things you also mostly kept is the auto um, full uh, remedy right here. So you just press the button once and it takes it all the way down. Something simple, but it's amazing how much that's a nice little feature. On this side here, you're gonna have a few things for you. You're gonna have your auto high beams. So you click that button right there. You can hear that it stays that way. Click that forward, click it in all wheel drive, or all auto, sorry. You never need to touch it again. It's amazing how well this thing actually works. It's in combination with a camera right behind there. Um, it sits above the eye line, so when a car comes over a hill or around a corner, it's amazing how quickly that picks it up. So you should never need to worry about that. The only time I've ever not seen this work functionally well is when you're in like Saskatchewan in a kilometer, you know, four or five kilometers out there, there's somebody with their high beams on. Um, this doesn't pick it up that far. I've had to adjust it manually from there. But again, other than that, this thing is amazing how well it does for it. Of course, the dimming lights, um, power mirrors. This is where we stuck the um, switch for the light bar. So if I click that on there, I don't know if you can see it. There it is, light bar is tucked away in there. So again, a really nice option for that right there for you. The power outlet in the rear, that's set up there for you. And of course, automatic um, heating windshield wipers, which is a nice option. So a couple of things that kept in this guy that are really nice. Um, one of the other things is this guy right here. So your digital display in the center, it's gonna have your digital odometer, um, speedometer, sorry. As these guys become more and more redundant because these things become much better and easier to read. Um, lots of different functions in this guy. Sleep warnings, um, those kinds of things. So long distance traveling. Of course, beyond that first um, tank, it's definitely showing stock stuff, the numbers right now. But again, um, all your little data points right there for you that you need. I think the speedometer is going to be the one you're in there most. It does give you tire pressure monitor and it can approach or where your tires are angled. So again, if you're coming up to a rock or a cliff or something, and you just want to know where your tires are aimed, um, it's nice to have that feature right there for off-roading. This is set up so that I can set how far I want to be on the radar cruise. This is one of those things in these newer vehicles that I really like. The old laser cruises, yo-yo. They bring you up to the car behind you and then hammer on the brakes and then bring you up again where these things are much much better it's amazing how well this radar adaptive cruise control works um, it's one of those things that i think has just removed a lot of stress for me um, in driving especially if you're doing a lot of commuting it's amazing how well that system works right beside you can see those lines right there those are the lane departure lines those are going to start tracing lines that camera again um, above the anti-collision camera that's meant to trace lines as well it gives you an audible sound kind of like a built-in rumble strip um, that lets you know you're starting to wander other other uh, the lane both those things have sensitivity settings you can go in there and adjust um, but it's a nice option to have in there again lots of little settings you can go through in this guy um, a couple laps around and you really get functioning well so again nice to have that in there and again as you can see there's a decent sized screen there when you look back from here that takes up most of what you're looking at so again nice option to have that you do have the big screen in here as well backup camera it's really clear you can see bumper tip to bumper tip you can almost see behind you which is nice the nice little thing is the bumper line right here that little line is just off when you have a hitch hooked up to this thing the little ball right there is just off centered so you can actually see it when you come in and if you look it is straight down on that so you don't have to worry about being just off you ever been backing up to a trailer you think you're there but you're not and you go back and look it's because that angle is, is, is slightly off but this is going straight down it helps out a lot really nice camera in there you do have a lot of functionality in this touch screen as well so your audio the whole entire works again just trim down a little bit to be able to bring that budget point down one of the things you're gonna notice right off the bat is it does have the single um, uh, climate controls rather than the dual that the rest of them have so again again looking for little budget savings here and there to me this is a, a, an easy one to be able to do that plus they've kept the big knobs in there i like to be able to have all that stuff on the outside rather than going into the digital spot it's nice to be able to control that right from here um, your heated mirrors and everything right there this is your usb port that's going to connect 
this guy. So if you want to do um, Apple CarPlay and all that, it connects right through that guy. It also does charge. Right behind here, you do have two more USB chargers. Let me get in there, sorry for the angle. Right there, two more USB chargers in the back so you can keep all your occupants happy. You do have a nice um, glove box back there on there as well. One of the nice things about this guy is you can actually fit a Nelgene in there. Nelgene bottles, it's the beauty that they've got that big enough. But again, with smaller water bottles, it does have that as well. And if you take a peek, there's nowhere for water to go. It's all one piece in there. So again, if it does spill, um, it does have it does have the ability to be cleaned out. You do have the standard uh, or autom or automatic transmission with the select shift, so you can shift through gears as well. Nice to have that. And of course, that forward or that back rear window comes down, which is a beauty. I like that option right there as well. You do have a lockable storage device in there. We've got the block heater cable in there. Um, we've got, especially with these TRD Pro rims, you're gonna have that little orange bag there has your locking wheel nuts in there. So you don't have to worry about that. We always put in the orange bag in there. If you ever get a flat tire or something like that, you know where to get your key from. Um, books and all sorts of stuff in there as well. And again, they still have some of the nice creature comfort trim from the SR5 upgrade. But again, a couple of things here and there, the sunroof being one of them. And for someone like me, that extra couple of inches not having the sunroof is a nice option as well. Up here, you're gonna have your downhill active control. So again, it helps you um, keeping the right gears, basically minimal use of brake if you have to going down a hill with that guy. A-Track, again, a little bit more full wheel drive system. There's lots of stuff on there. What that thing does, the traction control, I can turn that um, down if I'd like to as well. So again, really nice setup. A couple of things here and there, including, again, no leather in this guy, no sunroof just to get that price point down. Of course, here at Tacoma Town, we're gonna to take advantage of that by putting in a, a budget-friendly build on this guy. So again, a really nice truck, really good looking vehicle, um, but again, comes in at a budget. These these uh, SR5 base packages, not the upgrades, gonna be real hard to find, and I think with this build on it is a really nice looking package. Anyways, come on down, check it out at Cochran Toyota.